Hello, it's Morris here, and today is day two of season two of Axie Infinity Origins, and we have something new up at the top here, and it's more like an AOE kind of build, which uh, we've kind of looked at yesterday. But uh, yeah, we'll see how the first team actually uh, functions, and well, really quite pretty high up compared to the second place. So yeah, it's quite exciting. So plus one cerebral breeding. Um, yeah, but before that, let's actually go into like what's the meta now, and you see that beasts are still up here uh, with the uh, believer, and then yeah, I mean it's um, now I think it's mostly about this strong synergy kind of thing and strong cards in general. Let's say for example, you just see a lot of Ronin uh, and the tiny Dino, or 120 damage, that kind of thing. It's just strong cards, and then AOE. I think you see quite a bit more AOE now. Um, yeah, and then yes, the beasts are still there, and I think that's those are the two that you mostly see. And yeah, oh wow, okay, Shu actually, uh, yeah, get a triple um, pigeon post kind of thing, which I think could be also pretty strong. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see this one at some point. And then let me see what else. Yeah, so otherwise, oh wow, poison. Okay, so you use using a poison team, and yeah, I'm surprised that I don't see more poison up here, just because I feel like poison has been pretty strong, at least maybe at the lower level, like maybe at like a hundred or something. But maybe at the top, it's just the aggro is just too much, just because I think at the top people just have basically perfect runes and charms in terms of rare already. Uh, then in that case, poison might not be able to um, yeah keep up. Not too sure, but still, I think uh, poison still definitely quite viable at least in the rare era uh, to get to the top. Um, yeah. Oh wow, getting some curse as well. Oh, this one is quite interesting. I quite like uh, this kind of team. Yeah, I haven't really seen. I think the meta is in a way relatively healthy in the sense that sure, yes, yeah, so you do have some top teams, but there are other teams that are also viable at this point but of course it's only day two so like a lot of people has yet to get all the runes and charms including me i mean i only got like, i haven't really got many runes and charms that i would like but uh yeah so uh, mostly aoe and the um yeah and the beast and actually quite a lot of people playing bug i'm not too sure if it's because it's uh, for the event or is this but is this strong in general with this rune I think this rune is actually pretty good because it on average it gives you like 20 something shield or actually maybe even more so uh, like fixed 30 shield every turn is yeah as good as like the uh, I'm thinking about the aqua um, yeah the epic rune as well so that one all gives you like 40 so yeah I mean yeah, as a rare rune it's not bad I call a few using the mech as well to effectively like a penguin scale kind of thing right because this one still skin takes 10 less damage i think per hit so i think that's pretty strong um let me just quickly go through the rest and um yeah i think it's there are quite a lot of different teams i feel um yeah i think this might be a sustain but then a tiny dino to finish off opponent kind of thing also can make it up here as well uh yeah but of course now sustain you have to have some way of finishing off the opponent uh, yeah, okay, I think I think I'm, I'm quite liking it. Of course, uh, AOE is still very very strong and uh, and of course the beast as well So that those are still the dominant one I feel but let's just look at the top one and Yeah, I must say I have no idea how it works So uh, I think the best thing to do is really just to get in and see like exactly how it works But you can see the runes and charms are quite I won't say perfect, but like, you know got all the uh, important ones uh, even oh wow even a uh, white sage for like uh, a bit of a cleanse as well which is interesting uh, yeah so so you can see right at the top they do have pretty good runes and charms already like at least a full set kind of thing okay um yeah let's just see this one and yeah uh, see how it goes against the beast okay let's just pause it here for now um and let's just look at the cards so um the back is the believer uh and yeah i think corn tail is still very strong and that's why you see i like, uh sacrificing the seven um actually it's not just about the seven energy fragment because they can get back to another seven energy fragment relatively easily but i think the heal really matters as well because it basically is a zero cost heal 50 which i think is very strong plus getting an extra energy uh oh the feather dagger i think could be like one of the keys because feather dagger can be quite strong late game especially um 
then you will get uh, quite a bit of um, yeah the damage just because but then you have uh, a lot of feather stacks like the damage bonus as well because you have a lot of tri feather in this kind of team and yeah multi hit is always good um, for feathers so that's why you can see that feather is pretty strong um, oh okay so this is just to thin out the deck and also disrupt the opponent a bit um, Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yes, Way of Beast definitely has to be on uh, because of the Believer. If you, let's say if you draw it in the first turn, uh, you haven't got any rage, you can already deal like 70 something damage. And also, oh, this charm as well, I uh, buff it as well, so that's very strong. Let's just see what else is here. Um, oh wow, Earwing, uh, Trifeather, another Corn Tail as well. So yeah, I think uh, pretty strong. Oh, and the Vulnerable, dealing a lot of more damage. Don't think it'll get into Fury Mode, but... Yeah, having the retain, I think, uh, yeah, this is it's not bad in general, especially against like Jinx kind of team. Um, okay, and and yeah, stealing energy is also uh, I mean stealing HP also. I think this is actually a very strong card in terms of this effect per energy. Um, okay, and then let's look at the front. Um, oh, forgot the rune. Yeah, the rune. Yeah, Hardy Warrior. I mean, this is dealing so much damage in the early game, so it's this very strong rune. And then yes, this is more the shield one. Right? It gives you shield, and it also gives you a. Uh, it has a lot of shield as well, which is actually not bad. I must say, it's like it has a bit of defensive tool as well. I guess the topaz doesn't really do too much. Uh, there are some, but not that many um, cards that get banished. But I guess it's just there. Um, then taunt. Yeah, I think a lot of taunt, which actually is pretty good as well, just because then you can actually protect your back. Um, you do want to couple the, the, the shield with the taunt so that then because uh, nowadays a lot of aqua especially uh, can target uh, Actually in, even a lot of cards in general can target different um, enemies So having a taunt then basically allows you to actually get the value from the shield Which I think is pretty good especially with the Indian star Also the spell can disrupt the opponents that say like feather and stuff like that as well And then a bit of ramp as well so I think it got a bit of everything So let's just quickly look at the opponent's team is um Okay, a uh, pretty standard, I would say. Okay, Kataro, I think it's pretty strong. I um, got a bit of the wound as well, the Grisha's wound. Axie Kiss, I think all the strong cards basically, and then getting the rage as well. So that it, it basically enables the like, um, the Believer as well, because like this gives the rage for the other Axies. And then, let's see. So actually, yeah, the, it doesn't have that much of the bleed synergy. Um, yeah, it's more to do with the Believer and then just getting Corntail, Ronan, and then the spell is actually quite strong, I must say. Um, of course, Little Pieces are strong in general. Uh, the spell f against um, the Feather kind of team could be pretty strong, but of course, uh, you put the Feathers here and then you taunt this Axie then so that it doesn't get the spell. So I think, you know, this is a pretty strong strat. Um, also, because this has so much shield and things like so it allows these to actually stack up the feather even more at the late game so i think that's also pretty strong um yeah i think ronan i think it's basically the same right uh these two i uh, don't uh except okay except for the little branch and um oh and the tiny dino as well so actually opponent also very strong of course now i think they balance uh in terms of the matchmaking is actually pretty good so they actually find opponents which pretty close uh, ranking. The, of course, the downside is that once you're at the top, then you always just face the same opponent. Um, but yeah, Little Branch also gives you m has the potential to get into rage mode as well, so that's a bonus. So let's just uh, play and see. Um, okay, not too sure yet why this energy, I think it's probably bugged in a way. Yeah, okay. So, so far, I think it's pretty standard in terms of the play um, yeah shielding yeah you can see right the shield actually like, the synergizes very well is because uh, it already gets some shield but the problem is you can see that the opponent can just bypass the shield in that way okay but not the the next attack but if you can imagine right opponent can just bypass the shield without the taunt that's gonna be a bit rough um, okay a wing very strong yes yeah, this a lot of damage and then stealing healing back is also very strong and then um yeah now this corntail have the retain is also i think a bit i won't say broken but yeah i guess you just don't need the charm to to retain it which is fair in a way and that's because most people will put a charm to uh retain it anyway because this is such a good card to retain 
Uh, yeah, I think now it's really just about uh, the okay, a bit of ramp, but yeah, unfortunately, just hitting the same opponent, and then okay, already being able to use. Uh, oh, interesting, not doing to try feather, so maybe not going through the try feather. Uh, yeah, it was just, uh, but it's a lot of heal, right? You can see just now. Uh, yeah, the the Chrontail, I feel like yeah, zero energy, do so much. I feel like it's a bit unfair to be honest. Um, but okay, the front actually goes down, which actually is quite tough for plus one. I think at this point, that's because opponent really doing a lot of damage. So let's just see how this. Oh wow, they're yeah, Dragon 3 and Tiger 3, so there's actually quite a big difference in terms of the ranking. Uh, okay, but that's where you can see the uh, Way of Beast with the Believer, so it's very strong. And then this is where you see the, oh my goodness, uh, the Feather coming in. And I guess now they're trying to get to maybe like do a, play a Tri Feather so that you get the Feather stacks. Um, okay, yeah, so it's still in a pretty tough situation at this point I feel for plus one um, does manage to draw yeah so I think very lucky that in the sense that it draw the tri feather I think the tri feather really is the one that uh, allows this to mm, but I guess they're gonna keep okay they're just gonna fire off all these uh, feather but the problem is then they'll probably lose all the feather stacks so they're just gonna use it right away Okay, but then yeah, I guess it's a very close game now. It's basically if the opponent can kill them, then maybe can kill the opponent. A very smart shield as well, and then yeah, just oh okay. I think the heal matters a lot because now the opponent really have no way of uh, killing uh, plus one. So yeah, really oh, of course oh, the draw is also so bad for the opponent. Um, but that's what happens when you I guess play Corantel that kind of thing. But um still i think yeah it's i think the current tail really is just i won't say too strong but like oh the feather also yeah okay fair um yeah it's too strong in the sense that it just yeah the heal i think is too strong okay sure they get an energy fine but i feel like they should nerf it such that it doesn't heal so much uh i guess they like the 777 seven, seven kind of thing, right? Because, okay, you consume 7 energy fragment and you heal for 7 for each or something, but I think it's just a bit too much. Yeah, so you see that it's just solid cards in general. So let's just look at another. So this one, I must say, right, it's not even like a full on AoE. I, I actually would call it more like a feather aggro kind of team with like just strong cards, I think. In a, in a sense, it's not like there's a big theme into it because you can see the feather wasn't even used until the end kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it's, in this case, it's really just maximizing the energy per, uh, I guess, the effect per energy. And then, uh, yeah, just outvaluing your opponent. I think that's basically how this um, team works because you have Hardy Warrior that does, does a lot more damage and the Way of Beast with the Believer does a lot of damage. Getting, uh, being able to stack up more um, rage stacks that kind of thing I think all these add up and I think the key actually is Corantel just because th it's just so much swing right uh, you deal an extra energy of damage right then also heal for effectively like one attack kind of thing like 50 or something so it's yeah I think really a bit too strong but okay let's look at another one and see how this one goes <laughs> Okay, let's just pause it here. Um, yep, I think everyone should be the same. So you can see already getting uh, quite a bit of shield. Okay, let's look at the opponent. Opponent is more of an AOE kind of team, right? It's really full on AOE, I would say, because it's got the uh, Ferris Fan, Tri Feather, Ear Wing, I think. Uh, with the Robin, I think Robin is really the key here. Um, yeah, also uh, Castro as well to basically disrupt opponent that relies on buff. And yeah, I mean, yeah, two flash by also a very strong card now because the buff is such that there's death mark. And then let's just see what else. Uh, wow, okay, having the eggshell to even, uh, I guess, so called keep the robin alive a bit longer. And then chubby, I think, is very strong now because it applies the bleed and the opponent has to play cards. So if they don't play cards, then they will lose, right? So then it basically deals a lot more damage than it says here. 
Um, oh, and then there's a confident, uh, which is interesting. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, confident. I'm not sure what it actually does. I guess it basic. Yeah, basically like it's a cleanse kind of thing. I mean, Rage also is good, right? Because it's all AOE and multi-hit card. Um, Innocent Lamb can be used to get one of these. I think Corntail is good. Yeah, so you can see again, Corntail is still too strong. That's because uh, you get an extra energy and then you just basically kill the opponent faster and then they, um, yeah, just can't keep up, I guess. Um, that's because once they have an NXC down, then it's the options are a lot more limited, and uh, I think that's yeah still very strong. And of course, the heal that I mentioned as well, and then yeah, Ronan also I think still very strong. And then let's just see, and then Kataro as well. I think overall very strong all at the top. That's why um, Eggshell again just to protect the Ronan a bit, and then yeah, just overall strong cards. Um, a bit of the Kataro. Uh, the ramp as well so you get more energy fragments yeah so overall pretty strong let's just see how this one goes okay uh, okay unfortunately didn't get the like the full ramp just one so maybe that kind of cost them the game not sure sure but let's see and then uh, confident gain yeah okay so they basically just I like to do more damage, but you can see uh, the oh, I forgot to mention about the rune as well, right? Because uh, this rune allows them to already get the feather at the start, then you can already start stacking up these uh, feathers damage, which is very good, right? Uh, because yeah, just now, like my turn two, basically round one, already got five, which is just a bit strong. For AOE, that's why I think AOE might ultimately be the one that, oh my goodness, 50 across the board with one energy. That's just, yeah, unfortunately, it keeps on hitting one. So, kind of fair now because each side just hit one uh, single axe. Mm, yeah, I think uh, plus one is, you know, we have to prioritize the back. And yeah, I guess this is where you can see the shield. And then yes, using the extra energy to heal as well, and then yeah, getting the feather. So both sides are now utilizing a lot of the feathers, and then I assume uh, gonna have to play the tri feather to keep the feather going. No, give oh wait, I think they have the yeah, I have to play the tri feather, right? I can't imagine they don't play it. Uh oh, very unfortunate that it. Only oh no, it's because of the taunt. I right? only hit one. The reason I has to play tri feather is because I right, then it will lose the, all these stacks of um, yeah damage. But so far actually yeah plus one doing pretty well, I would say. And yeah, just doing like just strong in general in terms of just the cards and the, uh yeah. So I'm trying to see how the opponent is gonna. Come back with this. Okay, I think this is quite a lucky draw with the tri feather so that I can keep the damage going. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bit rough. Uh, but you can see it's already 15 stack, and maybe that is the you know, way to um, yeah to end the game, right? It's still that if they can't get rid of the back, which I don't think they can at this point. Uh, yeah, also another corn tail to heal up, I would assume, and then you have to end to yep. Yeah, I think it's this very strong combination of cards uh, by plus one. Uh, but opponents, wow. Uh, full stack soon. The full stack is now 20. Oh, the bleed as well. And then using one of these. And then eggshell finish uh, front off. And then if they use a card, I think that is the, the I guess the damage and the bleed actually hurts uh, plus one. Because once they use a card, yeah, use a card, right? Oh, but the heal. Okay, that's pretty smart, right? Heals back. So actually getting very close, but I think the bleed really hurts. Um, but yeah, you can see it's really just a one attack kind of difference. So now let's just see. Yeah, I think the AOE can finish him off with the now well, full stack effectively. And yeah, I think basically if you can't get rid of the back late game, then this is how you can uh yeah finish off opponent having said that it's still a very close game and yeah it's just really one energy off in a way uh so yeah it's wow well, i can see that these yeah the aoe strategy is really very strong but having said that though uh i don't even know how what to call uh this particular strategy is because i guess it's kind of like a feather but it has everything maybe i'll actually just call it like a 
coin tail kind of strategies because it really just relies on a strong cards plus coin tail to out tempo opponent. That's how I see it, uh, and uh, very good protection uh, from the f like by the front and then so that it can stack up the feather at the back. But sometimes you don't even need the feather; you just do a lot of damage, and that's basically it. Yeah, so that I would say is the fun part of rare kind of era because you you can see this kind of you know like. I would say like a very synergistic kind of team, but this one is more just like okay, uh, aggro with you know, some feather and just strong cards and like good combinations in general, and that basically works. It's not like there's like a whole AOE theme or like a whole kind of yeah, yeah. It's just strong team basically, strong cards. That's how I see. It. Okay, so this is it for today, and I'll see you in the next video.